Hello everybody, my name is Junior and welcome back to another video and today we are in the create mod series once again which you guys have been loving it's been amazing uh, how well the videos have been doing and how much you guys have actually been enjoying them which is just super super awesome now today I guarantee you we will complete that elevator and it doesn't matter how long it's going to take we will get it done and by the way if you do enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe now we do this at the start of every video and that is the shout out signs now the first one was tv free spark and now a couple of you guys commented on the last video and so i've added you all to this dispenser and let's see who gets chosen for this episode hey dumb dog nice thank you so much for your support for commenting now if you want to be added to these signs just like these guys don't forget to comment on the video as well now i didn't do a lot uh, between episodes but what i did do is i added a couple of drills around the edge and i made the hole bigger because we need more room for the elevator because it took me about two days two or three days to figure out how to actually build the elevator i was trying loads of tutorials and nothing was working and then i found one randomly that i wasn't even looking for which is quite uh mad like and it worked and so it's a, it's a little complicated so i'm gonna watch the tutorial again and build it and then i'll come back once it's built and i can fully explain to you then but it's gonna take a little while because i gotta get down there place a redstone link and then get back up and then fix the rest of the uh the elevator now before we do that actually i've made a silly mistake i'm um, actually i keep forgetting to do this we gotta go to the to the nether so to do that we need obsidian but we can't mine it with diamond pickaxe because we don't have any diamonds well we have one uh, or two actually because i got more from the geode but what we need to do is get magma blocks throw them under the fan with water and watch what happens you ready i don't know how long this is going to take actually there we go look it turns it into obsidian isn't that genius now we've got to figure out where we're going to place it because it needs to be somewhere good doesn't it like maybe maybe by here like is it a good idea just for now just temporary we'll do we'll do the, the basic one there we go we'll save uh, resources so we need a blaze burner so that'll cost us four plus i'm gonna make a shield right we've got all our supplies that we need we've got all the ingredients but the nether rack for the blaze uh, burner and we also need quartz so it's gonna be a two-in-one mission all right let's go through i haven't seen what it looks like i don't know if it's any different or if it's the same as usual all right then where are we i see quartz oh that's beautiful that is we are so lucky oh let's go and let's craft a blaze burner actually now that we got a netherrack and we'll try and catch a blaze because we only need one. Oh my days when i tell you i'm terrified right now i've just been over to the blaze spawn up there because i found this place nearby and i managed to get one but there's also like crazy loot that like what is i don't like how have i got loads of diamonds like an ancient tomb what does that mean I don't know what to do with gilded blackstone either, but uh oh. Do we go for it? I'm not sure. I'm terrified. I've been. A lot of this is going to get cut because I've been screaming like a child. So I don't know. I'm whispering for some reason. Why am I whispering? I'm terrified right now. I think the safest option is to cut back when I am safe and sound. So I am terrified right now. <laughs> get me out of here that was actually the worst two hours of my life let me show you see this map see this how it some of it hasn't even rendered in so far i literally traveled all the way from down here all the way all the way here you may be wondering, why, Junior? Why would you do such a thing? Well, it turns out I forgot to save where my portal was, and I got very lost. And so I found a random ruined nether portal in the nether. I used whatever obsidian I had left over, and I uh, ignited it with my flint and steel, and I popped out in that snow region. Yes, I was very happy to see the light, but also very disappointed that I was lost. And very far away from home. So. I took my things. And I ran. And I ran. And after an hour. Of like looped in random villages. And random things I found. We've ended up back home. 
and that's right we've got the blaze burner let's go let's go in here let's go under the little basin this is the set that we got by the way to power and then let's pop that baby there i forgot we need a filler also what are we putting in there wait okay, how do we make brass a zinc ingot and copper well luckily for us we've got lots of that now we've also got a backpack now which i, I just love it's so cool i love that much it's like one of my favorites it's gotta be we've got coal oh my days now let's throw our zinc ingots and our copper ingots and let's torch this baby hey advancement made mixing it up how long did it take though why is it taking so long it's, it's pretty fast as well Ooh, i think i see the brass particles come on there it is hey we got brass let's go cool. oh my days finally look we can do this now we got the draw controller we've properly crafted it and i believe if we just pop it there it should connect now and let's try something like we got a spruce throw it in and it went up there and let's uh let's take a stack throw it in and there we go it is connected to all these perfect i'm glad that it's all connected now and that's probably going to help us in the future and especially when we probably we might extend it actually over the course of time but for now it'll stay like this right then it's time to finally build this elevator in my days it was taking so long but uh, i'm gonna take this down and i'll chuck up the elevator and i'll show it to you guys and uh, we'll get to working on it, the stuff then so now that we got the elevator working let's put the drill in one two three four five it's kind of a tutorial at the same time i realized so if you want to learn how to make the best drills follow this so i'm gonna make a five by five of all the drills first then i'm gonna go one two three and then i'm gonna pop cobblestone above here one two three four five another one down there Right, right let's actually get rid of this rail here let's add a cart assembler Oop. and then put a mine cart in pop a lever on the side we won't activate it yet pop a mechanical plow there now we're going to add a deployer on oh not facing that way add our deployer here and the second one here beautiful and then we could just add our chests onto the side and now i'm going to super glue everything Right, I figured out the mistake. We gotta put the rail on this one. Now we gotta put the cobblestone on this one. Now, when we flick the lever and we nudge the minecart, there we go. It should start going. And then it'll collect everything in these chests. And we can simply sit on the back and watch it go. For millions of blocks, if we really wanted to, we could AFK this uh, like forever and just keep placing. Uh, torches if we actually wanted to see while it goes so i'm gonna let this run for like 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes and i'll cut back so after letting it run for about an hour now it's been insane i found so many diamonds and iron and copper and gold and zinc and you name it and i found it on the side of the wall and on the floor that i've had to pick up but this has been working i've also made a couple of changes i dropped it down a block so it's uh, five wide four high and i swapped the minecart with the minecraft uh, with a minecart furnace and it's 10 times faster and stronger so i definitely recommend doing the change i've sorted the chests a little bit and uh, let me show you how much we got a, a stack of diamonds 26 iron stack of redstone i don't know what this can is. i don't even know how we ended up with that that's just weird uh some lapis and the second chest we got 42 diamonds three stacks of redstone 35 zinc and a stack of geodes i think for an hour that is actually overpowered and that we need to add more chests to it and i'll be afk in this in between episodes as well because we'll have infinite diamonds now we never have to worry about proper mining ever again i actually forgot to show you earlier how this uh this elevator works so let me show you it working so here's a redstone link i've just set this up with frequency you can set as anything to be honest when i click this look we rise on the platform oh this is amazing i think it's glitched right now and the rope is uh is invisible but trust me it is a rope there that's pulling us all the way up so i'll cut back to when we're at the top because it's it's kind of slow and there we are at the top see we got another redstone link with the uh the same 
frequency set. So let me show you this. This is the raw pulley. This brings us up and down. There's a gear shift. Um, and this just powers it. And these are just linked up all the way to here. So that's how we get our power. And then this just, it's only these two that really helps with the entire thing then. Is the power toggle switch, I believe it's called. Which um, obviously powers it through when it's activated. And uh, another link. But this one's got a disc on it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. It's super simple, which makes me mad that it took me three days to figure that out. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description for a tutorial if you want to learn how to build it uh, block for block. In the first episode, we actually managed to get a couple of these villagers and I actually went back and grabbed a farmer because I really wanted one because I have an idea now that we've got these things working at 100 miles an hour and this is how much carrots we have so far. It's quite a lot, isn't it? That's, uh, we could get some nice stuff out of that. So what I've done is I've dug a hole over here. I'm stuck in one station at the moment. I'm looking to pour in more. Oh, sorry, mate. And this... Oh, I don't have to take them out. I'm going to actually try and trade all these. And hopefully, by next episode, we'll have a full villager trading thing set up. And that will allow us to be able to upgrade our tools and our armor and pretty much everything that we ever need with villager trade in in the next video we'll actually be working on our villager uh, like trading hall and possibly a villager breeder and we'll try and get like every type of uh, job going and we'll extend this and try to fully decorate the uh, the hall and also we'll be building a um what are they called a wood a wood mill i think it's called or like a chopping mill you know like a wood production uh, area uh, I've got a build design in my creative world. I think it's going to look amazing right here. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the other episodes of this series. Because it is uh, it's really cool. And uh, you'll like them if you like this video. Also, check out other videos on my channel. And look out for my live streams. Also, if you want to join the Discord to discuss about how you enjoy these episodes. Or if you have any tips, let me know. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Peace.